Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I feel so good and I'm so happy to be vlogging. If you saw like two vlogs ago, I guess, I had talked about how my mom was coming into town for a week and I was taking a week off. So that was last week in my like real time. I picked my mom up from the airport Saturday night, was fine Sunday, went out with her a little bit Monday and then like halfway through the day on Monday, I just started to feel kind of weird and off and really tired and like my body was getting really achy and that was it for me. Like for a week straight, I was out of commission pretty much, but I was throwing up. I was feeling so achy and so weak. I spent most of the week in bed. So like on one hand, it was kind of good timing because I didn't have to worry about going to work and my mom was here to help me with Benny and to take care of me and stuff. But at the same time, it sucked because I was looking forward to having that week to hang out with her and like go out and do stuff. But it is now a week later and I am pretty much feeling 100% back to normal, thank God. Cause I, even though I was like starting to physically feel a little bit better, I mentally was just like, didn't really have energy for anything. Didn't really feel like interacting with people, just kind of wanted to stay in bed and watch movies. But today I woke up and I just feel so good. So I'm like, thank God, because I am going back to the salon today. And it's really exciting because today I am gonna go talk to my boss and tell her about my salon suite. By the time I post this video, I would have already posted my announcement video. So if you saw that, you already know I'm getting a salon suite. The official date is still to be determined because construction and all that, but hopefully in a month from now, I should be there taking clients. And I'm just so excited. There are a lot of days where I go into work and I'm looking forward to doing hair and hanging out with my clients, but I just don't have like the energy for everything else going on around me. My fellow introverts know exactly what I'm talking about, but thinking about being in my own space, using all of my own products, whatever stuff I wanna use, playing whatever music I want, setting the vibe for the day based on how I'm feeling and just being in like a little quiet space that's just all my own with tons of natural light. That's the other thing too. Like the lighting is huge for me. I have this image in my mind of how I want it to look and I just can't wait to be able to bring that to life. And everything is going well. Like I've been working on all of like the back end admin stuff and I'll be vlogging all of that for a separate video. I'm gonna keep all of like the salon related things in separate videos just so that way it's easier for people to like get the information but yeah today i'm planning on talking to my boss about it finally and letting her know that way i can officially announce it because i've been dying to post about it online but i obviously wanted to talk to her in person first i didn't want her to find out through instagram but i am about to do my makeup for the day and i have not worn makeup in so long and I have new products. So, you know, when you get new makeup, it always makes you super excited to do your makeup. So I thought we could do a little get ready with me and try out this new stuff. So I have some stuff from Ulta and then some stuff from Alamar Cosmetics. My friend Gabby owns this brand and I have been wanting to try it out for so long. So I got a few products from her company and then I also got a new mascara, the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. This is the one, right, the Mascara Gate mascara, I think. But I think people were saying that like it actually really was good. So I wanna try that. And then I got a new under eye concealer. So I'm gonna start with the Say Glowy Super Gel. I really love this stuff. It adds a really pretty glow, so sometimes I'll wear this just by itself. But it's also really nice under makeup because it just makes everything glide on so smoothly. Then I'm going to do the NARS Soft Matte Concealer under my eyes because I just feel like they could use a little extra coverage. And I'm just going to kind of spot conceal any little areas that need a little extra coverage. Then I'm taking this ColourPop Foundation Stick in the shade Deep Dark. And I'm gonna use this to contour. I'm 
And I'm gonna just kind of like roughly blend that. And I'm gonna take my foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I love this foundation. I feel like I always end up coming back to this. And I'm just gonna buff that out going over the contour. Then I'm going to take that new concealer, the L'Oreal Infallible. Hopefully this is a good shade for me. I feel like this one is supposed to be a dupe for the shape tape. Then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and blend everything out a little bit more. I like using a brush first because it gives you more coverage, but then the sponge will just pick up any excess and make sure everything is like looking as blended as possible. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Alomar Hydrating Complexion Trio. This was the product that really sold me because I saw her do a Sabrina Carpenter makeup look using this, and this is the light palette, and she used the lightest shade to set under her eye area, and it was just so illuminated and glowy. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Just the under eye area, and then like, right here, on like the inner part of my cheek. That is stunning. Do you see the difference? So like this side's all glowy, but it looks like shiny. And then this is just like a lit from within looking glow. I'm gonna bring that up here as well. Oh my God, so pretty. Okay, Gabby. This is going to be a staple in my makeup routine. Then she has these liquid blushes, the Colorette Concentrate. This one's in the shade Let That Man Go. Like, let that man go. I love it. And I think these are supposed to be like super pigmented. So let me not do too much. Oh, that was like the perfect amount. They are nice and pigmented, but not like in a scary way like the rare beauty ones are. Like those, if you put more than like one dot, you're gonna be blending forever. I think even on a no makeup day, that would just be so beautiful. This actually was a free product with my order, the Mommy Brow Styler. So it comes with a spoolie on one end and a nice thin pencil. It's like wider on the sides. I haven't actually filled my brows in in a hot minute. I normally just run some brow gel through them and keep it moving, but they are also due for a tinting, so they could use a little extra filling in. I like this, it glides on really smooth, but not like too smooth. You know how some pencils can be like so smooth and waxy that they just slide around on your skin? This doesn't feel like that. Like it feels dry enough that it'll stay in place, but it's soft enough that it goes on smooth without like tugging at your skin. You don't have to like apply a bunch of pressure. Before I do my mascara or lips or anything, I'm gonna set everything with the Benefit Professional Setting Spray. I like to do kind of a heavy amount and then I take that damp beauty blender and I just barely tap over everything. Especially where I put the powder, just to ensure that everything is like blurred together. That is like the best makeup tip I can give anyone from the days when I used to do makeup professionally. Heavy setting spray, tap with a damp sponge after. Every time it just blurs and makes everything look so flawless. Gets rid of any cakiness. Okay, now we're gonna try the new mascara. So this has an interesting applicator. It's like curved. So it's flat on one end and then curves down on the other end. 
and it has plastic bristles. Lift and load your lashes using the front hook bristles, applying from root to tip. Use the side hook comb to separate your lashes for added volume and length. Oh wow. Immediately I'm like, wow that looks really pretty. I think I'm gonna do two coats, but here's how it looks with just one like really quick coat. So pretty. And I have still been using the Grande Lash Lash Serum most nights before bed. So that's been helping to keep my lashes like nice and long. This like really coats so nicely. Like I really like this brush. And now I'm gonna turn it to the side. So that's how it looks with the second coat before I separate them. Now I'm gonna turn it to the side. To separate. That looks really pretty. I love that. The real test will be seeing how it wears throughout the day, especially because today is pretty humid. Whenever it's humid, my skin gets oily and then my mascara smudges, which is why I've been exclusively using fiber mascara for the last like year or so. But it's nice to try something different every once in a while. Now I'm gonna line and fill in my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And then lastly, we're gonna try out the Alomar Plumping Lip Water. And this is in the shade Agua Fresca, which I think is just clear, basically. So pretty. It's like a minty cooling kind of tingle. It's not sticky at all whatsoever. But it's like not quite like an oil either. It's like kind of between, I guess, like an oil, a balm, and a gloss. It feels like something that I would put on my lips just on its own, even if I wasn't wearing any makeup. To add some shine and like hydration and stuff. It feels really good. So this is the finished makeup. I love it. Nothing, you know, crazy different from what I normally would do. But it's fun to try out new products and... I am obsessed with that powder, the complexion powder. I'll show you guys at the end of the day how everything holds up because it's going to be a little bit of a late night today. I go in at 12, I have three clients, a haircut, a full foil and cut, and a solid root to end color with a cut. And I'm hoping my boss will be there. Tuesdays are usually her days where she is in her office. I don't know why I feel a little bit nervous about it. There's nothing to be nervous about, you know? Like it's, it's a good thing and she's great and I'm sure she's gonna be like really happy for me and really supportive, but I don't know. It's always a little bit awkward to tell someone that you're leaving but i'm just gonna let my hair air dry today and you know just wear it natural i'm gonna use the ghost air dry whip verb is so good because it's so much more affordable like some professional products are insanely expensive and they're not even like that great you know but I really like Verb. My old salon in Pennsylvania, we started carrying their stuff like the last year or so that I was there. So I got to know some of their products really well and I love, I'm always recommending the Ghost line to people because it's hydrating and smoothing and it makes your hair feel so good but without being heavy. So it's really good for like all hair types. But yeah, I have like another hour till I have to leave. So I'm gonna go get dressed take Benny out for a walk, and my hair should be finished air drying by then, so I will show you the hair and my outfit and everything before I leave. It's about an hour later, I'm getting ready to head out. My hair at this point is almost completely dry. It's still a little bit damp in the back, but you can get an idea of how the product worked. These front pieces are, uh, they, they're just not curling up as much, <laughs> obviously, ever since I bleached my hair, but the rest of it, 
you can see the curls are looking good as usual don't mind the mess behind me but here's the outfit I'm wearing a matching set from Amazon and my combat boots from H&M nice and simple but comfy I love this sex it's just so like loose and flowy it is many hours later it's I think like 8 30 now it ended up being a really good easy smooth day and I ended up getting done a lot earlier than I was expecting. I left there like a little after 6.30, which I thought I was gonna end up being there like at least an hour longer than that. I feel like if you finish on time or like the time that you were planning, that's really exciting. But if you get done earlier than you were expecting, that's like insane, unheard of. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm always seeing hairdressers talk about how we end up finishing way later than expected. But yeah, um, I wanted to show you my makeup. Honestly, at this point, it's not doing too great. You can see the mascara definitely smudged under my eyes and it like got all broken up around my nose. I feel like it held up though pretty good during the day and the mascara under the eyes isn't too bad. But yeah, I'm ready to wash this all off and get ready for bed. I talked to my boss, so I'm really excited. I can officially announce and just talk about it more like openly because I did mention it to a couple of my clients, like my regulars, but I was trying to like keep it on the DL a little bit and not let anybody over here. But yeah, she was super excited for me and really supportive and it was a really good conversation as i figured it would be but i don't know it's just always a little uncomfortable but i will forever feel grateful you know there's been times where i felt like oh i wish that i didn't take that break from doing hair and that i would have just like hit the ground running as soon as i got to north carolina and started growing my clientele and i could have already been doing my own thing by this point but honestly i just feel like everything works out the way that it is meant to having a break really allowed me to like take a breather and fall back in love with doing hair and working at the salon where i've been it's just been a great opportunity for me to like slowly ease back in and kind of figure out what i want to do with my own place and i've learned a lot but tomorrow i have the day off so i'm looking forward to getting to work on some business stuff i want to get my booking site all good to go and narrow down my service menu and i'm excited because i have a nail appointment tomorrow they are very grown out it's been like four weeks i think since i last got them done and my friend is also dropping off her dog i agreed to dog sit for her for the next couple of nights so she's dropping her off late tonight and Benny is going to be so excited. I'm going to finish getting ready for bed and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, kids. Good morning. Good morning. It's the next day. I'm going to get ready a little bit because I am going to be filming a little bit of content today but today is going to be a business admin day i was running some numbers and like narrowing down the prices for my services and figuring out what hours i want to set for myself i mean obviously my schedule is going to continue being super flexible so obviously i can always change my schedule but I do think it's a good idea to choose set hours for myself just so it gives me some structure and something I can stick to for now and then you know if that schedule doesn't end up working I can always change it but I'm so excited to not have to work every single Saturday anymore because for years I worked every Saturday that was just like you know, that's just how it is, especially when you're first starting out in this industry. And then at my current salon, 
I had no choice because Saturdays are kind of the only days that are guaranteed for me. And I'm still happy to do it once in a while. Like I don't really mind, especially because I'm so used to it at this point, but it's nice to not have to do it every single week and be able to have a normal weekend. Especially because I feel like currently, a lot of my clients have pretty flexible schedules or they just work remote so they're able to bring their laptops and work while I do their hair. So very few people need Saturday appointments. So yeah, I'm gonna go work on that some more and then I'll take a brief intermission to go get my nails done. I got my nails done. They look so good. This is from Luxa Polish and the shade is called Bad Romance. But I stopped at Cosmoprof because when I was there a few weeks ago, I saw that the Paul Mitchell Crema XG colors were all like $2. And I asked one of the associates there and she said that these are being discontinued. So they're super cheap right now. They are $2.10. And these are three fluid ounces. So these are like big tubes. Normally you get like two ounces of color and it's like anywhere between like $10 and $12 for most brands. But yeah, these are being discontinued. But I mean, I've used them tons of times. They work great. Um, so these are a cream demi permanent, which I really like using these for low lights. If I have a blonde that wants to go brunette but wants to like eventually go back blonde in the future, that's what I usually do. If I have someone maybe that their hair is like super over processed and it just won't accept toner, like regular liquid toner, I'll do something like this. And like for reverse balayages, like stuff like that. If you need good stick and you want a like little bit of a more opaque but soft kind of finish but you don't want something that's permanent like cream demis are chef's kiss i was like let me just go stock up on a bunch of these while i can so i literally got 18 boxes of color for $40, 38 before tax, but amazing. So I got a whole bunch of different shades. They didn't have too many left, so I just kind of grabbed what I could. Then I got a really exciting package. So there is a new foil company that just launched called The Main Foil, and she reached out to me on Instagram and asked if she could send me some of her foils and I started following them on Instagram now and they just have the cutest designs. I think she just has three right now to start with but I'm sure she'll release some more in the future but this is the brand, the main foil. These ones I think just look like this, black with the name on them, super sleek. And then these, oh my God, are so freaking cute pink with cherries on them adorable oh my god it matches my nails perfectly and then these i think are my favorite the brown with the stars so freaking cute Ooh, they are nice okay i'm not gonna open it all the way but they're like nice and thick and they have good texture which is so nice because they'll really grip the hair especially if i'm doing like baby lights or something like really close to the root. You need to be really precise and you don't want anything that's gonna be like too shiny and slip around. So I love like the smaller pop-up foils that have texture for stuff like that. So I'm so excited to use these. Thank you so much the main foil for sending these to me. I am gonna be using these a ton in the new suite. Let me show you where I've been storing everything in preparation. By the way, this is how the guest room is looking right now. They just finished destroying one of Benny's new toys, so love that. Uh, yeah, my mom literally just got this for him when she came last week and they ripped it open and made a mess. I'm glad you guys are having fun though. But yeah, so this dresser that I have in the guest room, this used to be in my bedroom. And then when I moved to this new apartment, it didn't fit 
in my master bedroom like it just it didn't work with the layout of the room so i was going to get rid of it and sell it but then when everything happened with the salon suite i was like oh wait i should just keep it and then i can use it there so i think this will be perfect in there and i can just hold all of my like extra products and tools and all of that kind of stuff so i've just been keeping everything in here so far i'm waiting till we get a little bit closer to like opening day before i really go hard and like start buying everything but i've been accumulating a few little things here and there and the foils Oh my god, I'm just so excited. I can't wait to finally get the keys and just be in there and decorate and make it all come to life. But yeah, I'm going to make myself some lunch and have a little bit of work that I wanted to get done. But it's such a beautiful day outside, so I think I'm going to bring my phone and my iPad because the main thing that I wanted to do is import all of my clients info and notes and everything and just work on my booking site so I feel like I can lay out by the pool and do that there so I'm gonna bring my stuff and go sit by the pool get a little color okay, it is already almost seven o'clock it is my co-workers birthday today so I'm getting ready to go out. Everybody's meeting at a brewery first, and they have some food there, like snacky kind of things, wings, salads, pizza, stuff like that. After that, we're just gonna go out and hop around to a few bars from there, I guess is the plan. I don't know. I'm just gonna Uber. That way I don't have to worry about it. And if I end up staying out late, great. If I decide to just come home a little bit early, that's fine too. I was home all day today and sorry I didn't vlog anything, but I was just enjoying having the day off. Like I, I was a little bit productive, but kind of not really. I cleaned the kitchen and then I gave myself a lash lift and tint. So I don't have any mascara or anything on my lashes right now. And I did film a tutorial for that, so... I got that done, filmed some content for Instagram Reels, but then I also just like laid on the couch a lot. Watched a bunch of random YouTube videos, watched a little Sex in the City, it was great. But I'm trying to figure out what I wanna wear tonight because it's been so hot. And then of course, it was pouring raining last night and the temperature dropped a bit. So I think tonight it's supposed to be like 60 degrees which is kind of it's kind of chilly compared to how it's been like even at night lately it's been 80 degrees and humid so i was gonna wear like a cute little denim dress some heels but now that it's gonna be chilly I'm like, mm. so i think i'm gonna just do black denim jeans with this top possibly it's a cute little one shoulder metallic moment and then i have this silk collared shirt that i think i'll throw over it and just do some short strappy heels maybe we'll see i don't know i'll see how it looks when i put it on but i think i think that'll be good okay so i tried on the outfit with the jeans was not feeling it those tops just did not look right together so i just threw on this plain black slip dress and this cropped faux leather shirt from Zara and my Steve Madden boots and I put in these House of Harlow earrings that I got from TJ Maxx and a few rings and then I'm using my Teddy Blake little clutch bag with a little skinny strap I am gonna go order my uber now and I'm gonna end this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching and spending the week with me I'm so excited for all the things to come so stay tuned make sure you're subscribed if you're not already I know some people were telling me that they've been having issues lately with their notifications so I don't know somebody said that they 
unsubscribed and then subscribed again and redid the notifications and now it seems to be working so if you have also been having an issue maybe try that and see if it works I don't know I think YouTube's just been kind of like glitching lately but I'm gonna do my best to keep uploading every week so if you're not seeing my post just you know go check my page thank you guys I appreciate you so much I hope that you have an amazing week and I'll see you really soon in my next video bye